Now, next in our list is registration. And what they do, let's say somebody walks into the ER. Well, someone has to get that patient information, the demographic information, and then put them into the medical system in the computer, right? That's exactly what registration does. Now, they're all across the hospital, of course. You may have seen them with like moving laptops in the ER. This is another entry level spot for you. Now, what about number three? The patient transporter. Now, what patient transporters do is to take patients from, let's say, for example, the ER to their bed upstairs to be admitted to the hospital. Or what if someone has a special test that needs to be done? The patient transporter, right? If someone is moving up in the hospital or down the hospital, a patient transporter goes sometimes by themselves when they're moving the patient when they're, like I say, a non-emergent fashion. In other movements, it could be more critical movement, there'll be a medical team with the transporter, but somebody has to move the stretcher. So the patient transporter is number three. Now this one's quite interesting. Number four, we're talking about stocking medical equipment in the hospital, but I'm also talking about delivering medical equipment to people's homes and setting it up. So there's a lot of stuff here to unpack. So first, there are stores that offer medical equipment. You could work in that store and get familiar with that equipment. You could also drive and deliver and then set up the equipment. Again, you're dealing with patients that way, right? The other thing is there's people in the hospital that have to stock the floors with different medical equipment. Again, you're still around and it's all entry level like all these jobs are. 